Hey, girlies. Carlos loves cross-dressing at work, but he longs to become a woman permanently. His boss stands behind him and they develop something special. The assets and exclusive pictures from this video are available on our Patreon page in the description. In Enjoy. Carlos loved nothing more than slipping into his favourite dress and makeup on Fridays when everyone had left for home. He had been doing this for years now, keeping his passion for cross-dressing as his little secret from everyone else at work, except for his boss Mark, who secretly shared this hobby with him, but they kept it to themselves for years now as something special between them. Carlos would spend hours trying different makeup looks or finding the perfect outfit that made him feel like he belonged in it because when he wore those clothes, he could finally embrace being female after years of living his life as male and feeling trapped within his own body. It became so important to him that he couldn't imagine not being able to dress up anymore, even though doing so at work would put his job on the line if anyone ever found out. But that's what made it all so exciting for him. The risk factor involved with each passing day he spent dressed up at his law office desk undercover from everyone else who walked past him without even realising what was happening right before their eyes. As much as Carlos enjoyed his little secret life outside of work, however, he eventually decided that it wasn't enough for him anymore. He wanted something more permanent, something that wouldn't just fade away when he took off his clothes again. So one day, after everyone else had gone home for good, he summoned up all his courage, sat down at his computer, and began researching how to officially transition from male to female. His heart raced with anticipation as he clicked link after link, absorbing every bit of information he could find on hormone therapy, surgeries, and even psychological counselling sessions designed specifically for transgender individuals. Overwhelmed but determined, Carlos finally decided that this was something he truly wanted to pursue, no matter what obstacles lay ahead of him. And so, with renewed vigour and purpose, he stepped back into his everyday life as Carlos, ready to face whatever challenges awaited him on his journey towards becoming his true self. For months now, Carlos had been taking hormone therapy under doctor supervision. His body was slowly changing from male to female, with softer skin and curvier curves taking shape where once there were only harsh lines and rigid muscle mass. His voice had softened too, growing higher and more feminine with each passing day. But even though these physical changes were incredibly exciting for him, there were still moments when he struggled with accepting them. There were times when he looked at himself in mirror and saw nothing but an oddity, someone who didn't fit into either societal mould. And there were other times when he felt like giving up entirely, convinced that he could never truly embrace being female because he'd spent so many years living as male. But despite these setbacks and moments of self-doubt, Carlos pressed on, determined to see his journey through to its conclusion. He knew that it wouldn't always be easy, and that he'd face more than his fair share of adversity along the way. But he also knew that he had to keep going, no matter what. Because ultimately, he believed that becoming his true self was worth any amount of struggle and heartache. It was during one of those particularly trying moments that Mark, Carlos's boss, approached him with an offer. Why not just make it official? He asked, gesturing towards his outfit for emphasis. Why not come to work dressed like this from now on? Carlos looked at him, unsure how to respond. Part of him was thrilled at the prospect of finally being able to dress up as he pleased without fear of repercussion, while another part of him was terrified. What if everyone laughed at him? What if they called him names and made fun of him behind his back? What if they flat out refused to accept him for who he really was? But despite his fear and anxiety, Carlos knew that he couldn't turn down this opportunity. If he wanted to truly embrace his identity as a female, then he had to take risks and face challenges head on. And so, with his heart pounding wildly within his chest, he responded, OK, let's do it. From that moment on, things changed drastically for Carlos. His co-workers no longer knew what to make of him, their expressions ranging from shock to amusement to disbelief. And as rumours began to spread throughout the office, 
it became clear that many of his colleagues were not pleased with his decision to come out as transgender. They whispered behind his back, snickering and laughing at what they perceived to be an aberration. And there were even some who went so far as to confront him directly, demanding that he get help or fix what they saw as some sort of mental illness. But despite all of this negativity, there were also others who surprised him with their acceptance and understanding. Some even reached out to him privately, offering words of encouragement and support during those particularly difficult days. And slowly but surely, Carlos began to feel more and more comfortable within his own skin. His confidence grew as well, as he learned to stand up for himself and assert his rights as an individual, regardless of what others may think or say. As time passed, however, things only got worse for Carlos. His co-workers grew increasingly hostile towards him, making crude jokes and rude comments under their breath whenever he walked past them. And there were even some who went so far as to sabotage his work, intentionally leaving errors and mistakes for him to fix while pretending not to notice. But despite all of this adversity, Carlos refused to give up. He knew that he had made this choice for himself, and that no one else had any right to judge him or dictate how he lived his life. And so, with his head held high and his chin raised defiantly, he continued to come to work dressed as he pleased, knowing full well that he could face anything that came his way. And as he stared down every challenge and hurdle with steely determination, it became clear that he had finally become who he truly was, and that no one could ever take that away from him. And so, years passed, and Carlos's life only became richer and more fulfilling as time went on. He developed close friendships with several of his co-workers who had originally disapproved of his decision to transition and even managed to win over some of those who had initially laughed and scoffed at him. And as word spread throughout the company about his incredible journey from male to female, more and more people began to see him not as an oddity or an outsider, but as someone worthy of respect and admiration. And as he continued to live his life openly and honestly as his true self, it became clear that he had finally achieved what he had set out to do so many years before. He had become not just a male or female, but rather a human being, capable of love and compassion, joy and sorrow, triumph and failure, just like everyone else on this earth. Carlos decided to officially change his name to Carla and start introducing herself as such to her colleagues and friends at work, and outside of work as well. She felt that this was an important step towards embracing her true self and becoming comfortable with who she really was as a person. This decision wasn't easy for Carla because it meant letting go of everything she knew and starting fresh with her new identity. But she knew deep down inside that it was something she needed to do for herself in order to move forward with her life and finally feel like she belonged somewhere. Her boss, Mark, was very supportive of her decision and even offered to help her with any paperwork or legal documents she might need along the way. And as they sat down together at Carla's desk one afternoon discussing their plans for her name change, it quickly became apparent that there was something more than just friendship growing between them. Mark had always been attracted to Carla ever since she first started dressing up at work, but he had never said anything out loud until now. He confessed his feelings for her, telling her how much he admired her courage and determination, and how much he respected her for being true to herself, even when others around her tried to tear her down. And as they shared their first kiss right there at the office, surrounded by piles of paperwork and ringing telephones, it was clear that they were both ready to take this next step together, hand in hand, towards an uncertain future full of love and happiness. Over time, Carla and Mark's relationship deepened and grew stronger as they faced various challenges together. They went on exciting dates, exploring different parts of town and trying out restaurants they had never been to before. They shared intimate moments, opening up to each other about their fears and hopes for the future. And they laughed together too, finding joy in small things like watching funny movies or making jokes during long car rides. And as they stood side by side at Carla's apartment one evening, wrapped up warmly against the cold winter air, it was clear that they were finally ready to take their relationship to the next level. 
as Mark dropped down onto one knee, offering Carla an elegant ring set with sparkling diamonds. He asked her to marry him, and with tears of joy streaming down her face, she said yes. As their wedding day approached, Carla felt both excited and nervous. She knew that this was an important step towards cementing her love for Mark and proving to everyone around her that she was more than just Carlos or the guy who dresses up at work. She wanted to show them that she was capable of finding happiness and love just like anyone else, and that she could finally embrace her true identity as a female without fear of judgment or repercussion. And so, with her heart pounding wildly within her chest, she walked down the aisle towards Mark, wearing a beautiful white dress with intricate lace detailing and her hair pulled back into an elegant updo. She felt beautiful and strong and confident, knowing deep down inside that she had made the right choice and that she could face any challenge or obstacle that came her way, no matter what. And as she took Mark's hand and said, I do, it was clear that they were both ready to embark on this next chapter of their lives together, ready to face whatever lay ahead of them with courage and determination and love. Carla and Mark's honeymoon was nothing less than magical. They spent two glorious weeks exploring romantic destinations around Europe, from Paris to Rome and everywhere in between. They laughed and danced and drank champagne under starlit skies, soaking up every moment of this once-in-a-lifetime adventure together. And as they stood hand in hand on top of Mount Vesuvius overlooking the beautiful Italian countryside below, it was clear that they were truly living their best life together ready to face anything and everything that came their way with love and compassion and understanding. When Carla and Mark returned home from their honeymoon, they were both excited to begin their lives together as husband and wife. But little did they know that their journey was far from over. As they settled back into their old routine at work, it quickly became apparent that not everyone was happy with their marriage. Some co-workers whispered behind their backs, spreading rumours and gossip that undermined their relationship and sought to divide them. Others went so far as to sabotage their work or make snide comments under their breath, trying to belittle their love and tear them down. But despite all of this negativity and adversity, Carla and Mark refused to give up. They knew that they had made this choice for themselves, and that no one else had any right to judge them or dictate how they lived their lives. And so, hand in hand, they faced each challenge head-on, refusing to let anyone stand between them or come between their love. And as they stood side by side at their office desks each day, they knew deep down inside that they had finally become who they truly were and that nothing could ever take that away from them. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.